Hey, what's up guys? In this On One Photo Raw tutorial, you'll learn how to make a dramatic black and white photo. This image in front of me, I took it in Jasper National Park and if I zoom in, you can see it's pretty soft, lacks a lot of detail and there's not much contrast to it. One of the reasons is it was a very windy day and usually I shoot in aperture priority and the aperture was pretty big or wide, f8. It's pretty wide for a landscape photo. Usually it should be smaller and you can see the exposure was a little bit slow. So we need to uh, compensate for that and make the image pop a little bit more and make it look sharp. So let's get started. I'll go to the edit tab and what I'm going to do is apply a lens correction. And for some reason, I used a Tamron lens, but it always picks up a Sigma lens in the lens profile. So I'll just go to 24 to 70 here. And this is the correct lens. So that looks good. Now I'm going to go to noise and sharpening. I'm going to add both no noise and tack sharp AI. So I'll click on both and it'll take a few seconds to apply or to process. So we'll just wait a little bit here and that looks good. And if I zoom in, you can see how sharp or how much more detail it is. It does look overcooked when I zoom in, but when I zoom out, it looks fine. And another thing is, well, actually, let me click on apply here. So that'll take a few seconds. Another thing I can do is I can crop this image. I can put a vertical crop right here to use this mountain as a leading line or a leading curve. And then I can put a horizontal crop right here, but I'm not going to do that for that Im for this image. That's something that's easily editable. So now that we have the noise reduction and the sharp AI rendered, we'll go to the effects tab here. I'll click on add filter. I'll click on black and white and the image still looks a little bit more soft. It's not as dramatic as I like. So you can see here the black point on the levels graph here. It's not exposed well, so I will move the black point to the left, map it over, make the image a little bit darker, and it looks like it's overexposed here. So I'll move the whites and I'll move the graph to the left a little bit. Keep in mind, this is a dramatic black and white photo, so there is going to be clipping and I will go overboard with the exposure. So that looks good. I'll add a little bit of contrast and that looks a little bit good. So let me see here. Okay. So one other thing I want to do is I want to add a local adjustment and I want to focus in on the middle right here. So what I'll go to is the local tab here. Click on add adjustment. I will use the brush tool here and it's on masking brush size of 900. This looks good paint and I'll start painting away. I'll turn on the mask right here and I will paint away, paint here. Perfect. And now what I'll do is I'll click on this tool here to select the edges or perfect brush as they call it. Close this and now I'll just start mapping or masking away and selecting the mask a little bit better around this mountain that's right here. So that looks good. So now that I got this mountain selected and the sky, I'm going to map the black a little bit to the left and then decrease the shadow. And you can see if I go too far, this area right here in the middle, it doesn't look good. So I don't want to decrease it too much. Okay. So I need to play around with the shadows and blacks right here to not overcook the image or make it look a little bit more natural. I'll decrease the haze because there is some clouds or fog in the area. I'll decrease this and I'll add a little bit more structure to the image. That looks good. Now I'm going to go back to the effects tool 
stay on the black and white here and I'm going to add detail to the image just to make it look a little bit better. So let's see the before and after before and after. So the image looks pretty good. I do want to correct this local adjustment here. Correct the middle right here. It doesn't look as good as I like it. Let me see what happens if I increase the structure. I'll decrease the haze actually a little bit more. That looks good. Okay, and now I want to add a little bit more emphasis to this mountain right here. So what I'm going to do is go to add adjustment. Actually, no, this is the local tab. So let me delete this. Go to the effects tab, click on add filter. And I'm going to go to the, where is it? Dynamic contrast. So I got that here. And I'm going to create a mask. And the mask I want is a, go right here, select a gradient mask. And it's a center mask that looks good. So I'm going to center around right here. Make it smaller, make it smaller. And I can also see where the mask is being impacted right here on this thumbnail, but I need to invert it. So that looks good. Rotate it. I don't want it too big. I don't want it going over these trees here. And I'll rotate it like this. And that looks better. And that looks better. So now I'm going to add some, actually it's automatically applied some medium contrast and some large contrast or the dynamic contrast, selecting different types of pixels. So I'll turn this off, turn it back on. Let me add a little bit more medium contrast and a little bit more large contrast. And now let's see the before and after. Now I'm going to add another filter just to make the midtones pop. So I'm going to go to add filter. I'm going to go to the curves and I'm just going to increase the midtones a little bit. That looks good. And one other thing you can do is if you want to add like a blue moody effect to this, you can go to the blue curve and just put a slight blue hue which makes the image look pretty cool. Actually, it's cooling the temperature, but if you go overboard, you can see what happens here. If you decrease it, it gives a nice blue moody look. So this image looks really good compared to the before and after. Here's the before and here's the after. And one final thing we can do is we can do the classic vignette. So I'll add that. I'll select the feather as 100 here, decrease the brightness, and let's see how it looks. I'll decrease it to about 69. Here's the before, and here's the after. So this image looks a lot more better than when we started. So here's the before, and here's the after. Let me know if you guys liked this image or what you would have done differently in the comments. Other than that, you know what to do if you like this video. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.